Let's now get into dplyr. So dplyr of course is for data transformation and dplyr is part of tidyverse. So when you load tidyverse, you end up loading dplyr, you also end up loading ggplot because quite often, as you will see in later lectures, we'll use dplyr to do some transformations on the data and then we'll go on to plot the data. So quite often, both of those are required for exploratory analysis. So we'll just use tidyverse. Again, we have already loaded this package, NYC Flights 13. So we're just loading the library. We've already installed the package. And we take a look at the description of the flights data uh, table. So question mark flights. OK, so before we go on, just let's get an idea of what are the different functions that dplyr provides. The first function that dplyr provides is filter. Right? So obviously, filter is to filter certain rows based on their properties. Arrange is to arrange the data in a table in different orders based on some values of columns. Select is to say, I want to select only specific columns from the entire table or data frame. Now, incidentally, all of these functions will work on data frames as well meaning pure data frames as well, not just on tables. But most of the time, we'll be using tables. OK, so filter is to get a subset of the rows. Select is to get a subset of the columns. Arrange is to simply reorder. Mutate is often used to create new columns, mostly based on values of existing columns. Of course, nothing stops you from creating a new column based on something else. But very often, you'll see in the examples that we have, we'll be creating new columns out of values which are already there in some other columns. And finally, the most powerful aspect of dplyr is to summarize the data. So in this example, the diagram, I'm just showing you that you've got this entire data frame or table, and you're calculating the single value 53.6 from that. That's one example of summary. But there are other more sophisticated examples of summary. For example, you may have data about uh, people and you may want to calculate separate averages for males and females, right? Or you may have one data set or table containing data about many countries, different aspects of data about many countries, and you may want to calculate a separate average for each country. Okay, all of those are accomplished very, very easily and straightforwardly with dplyr. So by and large, these are the five main workhorse functions of dplyr. Of course, dplyr has many other features, but these are the main things. And I would like to anchor our discussion around these functions.